A lot has happened this week, but this video is for something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is Pokemon. That sounds kind of silly, but I'm never going to deny how much Pokemon means to me. Some of my oldest memories are of playing with a Clefairy top from Burger King or of getting my first Pokemon card, a horsey. My Pokemon were my constant friends when my family moved across the country when I was little, and they helped me make new friends when we got there. Even in high school, the podcast It's Super Effective kept me going through stretches of school when I didn't have time to play Pokemon or keep up with the news any other way. So the other day, when I saw a message from my friend saying, go to Cerebi when you wake up, and I saw Pokemon Go, I freaked out. I'm not super active on it, but I've been an enlightened Ingress agent for about two years, and this crossover makes me really excited. Ingress is everywhere, and it does bring people together even though it was something completely new. It created a story, and it gets huge groups of people together to join and hack for the enlightened or resistance sides. Just imagining what the known and loved Pokemon company can do with Niantic's data from the Ingress game makes me beyond words excited. So a couple days after the announcement, I had time to go back and watch the video and watch the press conference. And when I saw the video again, I got a little teary because this hit home. If this goes well and if this works out, this is the heart of Pokemon. I take my 3DS with me a lot of places, but my smartphone is almost always with me. Being able to play with Pokemon in the real world, essentially, and have adventures and be able to catch and trade Pokemon with my friends with the one device I always have with me is just... yes. There were two things in the trailer that really got me. One was the little trading animation. The trading animation which was used in the video which might not be used in the game, but it was so reminiscent of the original games and the link cable and the first times you were trading with your friends on the Game Boys, that that, that hit home. That one little detail made me so happy. Then the point when they're in New York, I think, and everyone comes together to capture Mewtwo. That's the kind of thing Niantic has done with Ingress. It's already been done. They've already gotten these huge groups of people together to come and work together for a common goal. If they're able to do that with the Pokemon community and bring people together to capture a legendary Pokemon instead of just going to a GameStop or a Best Buy and logging into the event and getting the Pokemon for free, it could be amazing. So for this game, there are a couple of things I'm kind of hopeful for. I hope they use the notification feature wisely. If it's possible to use my smartwatch to tell me when there's a Pokemon nearby instead of using the Pokemon Plus accessory, that would be cool because it's a device I already have. I hope they keep making it easy to transfer data between devices for if you get a new device. I know there are downsides to the mobile version of Pokemon Shuffle, but I was impressed by the little code method you could use to transfer gameplay data from one phone to another, one device to another. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it would be easy to transfer the data even if you're transferring between Android and iOS, and that's something not a lot of games have gotten right. And I really, really, really hope that the game is released in early 2016, as the reports are saying right now, because I might be in Japan then. And being in Japan when this kind of a game comes out with Pokemon would be amazing, would be a dream come true. I just realized that Pokemon Go will be an interesting name for a game in Japan because of the traditional game of Go. Hmm. Now, I just want to add that no, Pokemon game is almost definitely not the big Pokemon game to come this year. It's Pokemon's 20th anniversary, there's going to be a lot of stuff. I almost want this to be the only game, because if it goes well, it could go really well. But I don't think Nintendo would even let Pokemon do that, and I don't think it's the time for that. With Pokemon's 20th anniversary in 2016, there is going to be so much stuff next year. Okay, that's all for now. Subscribe if you want to hear more from a geeky gap year student, and thanks for watching. Oh, I'm working on getting into competitive battling too. I like the intricacies of it.